So today we're here with NOAA in an impact field run by the Marion Research Center. Um, and so wh what IMPACT is, is it's, it st it's an acronym that stands for Intensively Managed Product and Advancement Characterization Trials. And so there's two main things that happen in these trials. It's, you know, we need to collect lots of data over all of North America to figure out which hybrids to advance. And then particularly for the characterization part, we need to figure out what are the key attributes each of those products can deliver to our customers. And so we have an R stage testing system and it's R1 through R5, and it's kind of like a five-year high school system. That hybrid has to go through those hurdles every year before it can graduate. And so what you're looking at here is the junior and senior year of, of a hybrid before it graduates and becomes a commercial number. Gotcha. We've got these plots all throughout the Midwest and even out in border ranges east and west of the United States. So what we really want to do is simulate exactly what you're doing so we can tell you that this is how it's going to grow and this is how it's going to produce in your area. We only harvest the middle four rows, which is here. And the reason we do that is so that we can treat it, treat each plot like a monoculture. That 1 50th of an acre, no different than your 40 acre field, you know, across the road. Okay. And so the goal is, is that to keep any, any differences between our hybrids, we don't want that contributing to the yield advantage or disadvantage that we may see in the data. So you feel like two rows over is a representation of the corn amongst itself. Correct. We're not yeah. worried about pollen coming from this group over to this group at this point. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, and there is lots of different flowering times amongst these hybrids. So in general, they pollinate themselves because in general, you know, pollen flies down and gotcha. it's, it's about the best you can do to simulate um, that, that monoculture type environment and at the same time be able to grow 300 Pretty hybrids, right, in the, the same field yeah, sure. to be able to compare them against each other. We just released a commercial product that our sales reps are excited about and that our growers are potentially excited about and getting to see for the first time. And I can come out here and find its brothers and sisters or its parents or its, you know, its children and all these different, different hybrids that I know that nobody else knows about yet. So I'm, I'm always in a somewhat excited phase because I always know there's something better coming. We're not thinking about just one particular hybrid, but we're thinking about what package of hybrids, how can I grab or make a group of hybrids that performs well for the types of acres in each region that a grower would have. Um, it's very much, you know, the analogy of putting a baseball team together. You don't need 10 pitchers. You gotta have a good catcher, a first baseman, and some awesome center fielders, and some guys that hit home runs. So we're using the drone to make sure that we're seeing everything throughout the year. We're taking all of these different data points, hundreds of thousands of data points throughout the year. We're using this smaller drone, it's a Mavic 2, to take plant health, and we're using all of this data and technology to use and see the whole field throughout the year. Yeah, I mean, the, the great thing about having UAS now as a tool is just the amount of data we can collect. And so every time you pop it up over a field, you're getting a full field worth of data points. And it's just something that we couldn't have done five to six years ago. And now we get more of a time, a, a time landscape of how our crop performs across, you know, the complete season. So the data you collect out here, is that something that you guys go back and analyze or is there a team back there doing that for you? At the Marion Research Center, there's a, a team of 20 people there. Okay. So, so other I mean, people are getting that footage too. Yep. The great thing about Corteva is the network that we have for research um, and that we have research centers stationed out through you know, all the, the whole corn belt to specifically focus on corn and soy. I didn't realize there was over 300 different plots out here. You know, uh, that's a lot of information. And, and so to understand how you sort all that out and make use of it is, is an interesting challenge to understand. But I can understand now how when you come with a new product and say it's going to do this, that uh, you have some research and some study behind that to prove that that's what it's going to do. And I would say on our purchases, that's been the case most of the time.